Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I have a hopefully a quick little craft with me video. I'm not calling it a tutorial, I'm calling it a craft with me. And we're going to be making these, I'm calling these ruffle edgers. I want them and I meant, I mean them to go on the edges of the journals. And they're made out of scraps, everything that you kind of have around your desk. You don't have to buy anything for this project. So, before I show you around, I just want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. I've had quite a few of them, and thank you to all the new ones that, that have also been following me on Instagram and all the pretty nice and comments. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marlene. I am Uniquely Ella everywhere on social media. Um, if you really like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you really, really love it, if you share it, that really helps the channel. A lot. I'm trying to grow my channel, but I need to make more videos more consistent to do that, guys. It's springtime, and oh my god, the weather's beautiful outside, and I have all my seedlings that I've been taking care of, and you know, I'm torn between, you know, that's what happens when you're a gardener in springtime. You want to be in the studio creating pretty things, but then you're also, you know, I, I love those two things equally, so I have to split myself in two to do that. But it's going to be raining for a few days, which is great because we need the rain. And I decided to come in here and make more of these. I have made some of these before. They're very simple to make. And I'll just show you up close what they look like. They're kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what, well, I'm calling them ruffle, ruffle edges because they start out as a, as a ruffle down here is a ruffle that's how they start out and you can use anything you have like on your desk pieces of clothing that you're going to discard and throw away you can save some little trims and it's just a matter of layering things up basically that's all there is to it they're so much fun to make you can make them a little bit more skinnier they don't have to be this wide or have all the bling you know not everybody likes all this blingy stuff or you know you can make them really plain if you like um, see, and you can see the ruffle underneath, and these are just layers and layers of little ones, of just little scrappy things. I made one in pink, which I really like the pink one because, you know, of course, I love pink. But today I think I'm going to make just a plain beige one real quick, just to show you how it's done. It's not hard at all. And I made a blue one because I love this little beaded. I rescued that from some kind of necklace I found in a garage sale or something. And I think it's, I think it was like a blue rosary or something. And I love that. It's, it reminds me of something and I don't know what. And I love it. And I'm not like a real blue person, but I love it. So I, I made a blue one just because I wanted to use that. And see all the different layers. And then the pretty ruffle in the back. And then this cream one just kind of goes, you know, as, as I keep doing them, they get gaudier. <laughs> chunkier, let's call it chunkier and chunkier. But um, I love that. So let's get started. I got all my supplies out. Let me just change my mat so I can work nice and comfortable. And we'll get started. They're really simple and a lot of fun to make. I'll be right back. Okay, friends. So like I said, all you really need is just probably things you have around your desk. I have like this little... Let me straighten my little mat out so I know where my center is. Which is right there. Um, just little scrappy... Just you know just things around your desk just little I collected a whole bunch of little stuff um, I mean I have like like we all do like a bigger bunch but I just collected like a few that I think I know I want to use I I don't know why I may may want to dig into these I think they're so pretty I'm not sure I may or may not I'm not like 100% sure then I just gathered um, I think I want to use this, but I'm not sure. This is one of Ella's. Ella is, I don't have a daughter named Ella. Nobody in my family is named Ella. Ella is my mascot, my, my, my crafty mascot from 15 years ago. She was a mannequin. She is a mannequin that a friend of mine, a, a crafty friend, gifted me one time. And she became like my blog mascot and my everything mascot. So it just, everything is Ella. And that's why my... That's why I'm Ella everywhere because of my mannequin. So anyway, this is one of Ella's favorite necklaces. And I, she's had it for like a really long time. But 
I just, I know I'm going to do a cream one. I know I want to do cream. And I'm just like loving this. So I don't know. I might tear that apart. I'm not sure. But I have other little things down here that I could use if I wanted to. So let's get started. First thing, oh, I'm going to need some stencil paper. And I pull these out because what I do is I go on these. Oh, I found other things that I want to use. I know I want to use this because I love that. And I think I want to use this. I just, I'm like in love with this. I've had it for a long time. I use it in a lot of my journals. But I think it'll be nice to cover the back, if anything. So I know I want to use that. So um, you're going to need some stencil paper. Anything that you've stenciled that you kind of like. Or any, you can probably use really any type, any paper. I just wanted to add a little element of paper. So it's not as too, too much, too much fabric. So I thought of that I would pick something from my stencil bunch. I just, you know, I just pick, I think this is a German book or a Dutch book. And then I, this is um, just, I just do my stenciling with my mold, my modeling homemade paste. And I thought that this would be without adding too much color because I'm gonna go beige, neutral. I thought that the stencil paper would be nice. So I think I'm going to use that as my paper. Um, so what I already done for the sake of the, of the showing you all, I went ahead and I, like always, because I'm so exaggerated for everything I do, I ruffle. There's no way I'm ever going to make all these edge ruffles. Um, I know I'm not. So I went ahead and I love ruffles. For a time there, I thought I was getting you guys sick of my ruffles and I took a little break from using ruffles on my journals. But truth be said, guys, I love ruffles. They remind me, I don't know what, but I just love them. So I went ahead and I ruffled a whole bunch, 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 bunch of fabric. And I think the one that I'm going to use is this one. I just love that, I think, because I've had this fabric for a while. I've added this fabric in a lot of bundles. I just love this fabric goes from this texture to like real sheer. So I think I might use that. Um, I can do a color one if I wanted to. Oh, I like that. Maybe. So I think I'm going to use... Am I going to use this one? Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. So that'll be it. So what I did is that I cut strips and then I ruffled, ruffled, ruffled. That's why they're kind of like all together. But see, I like that one. So that'll be it. So this is the piece that I'm using. I added a little tag, like a tiny, tiny little tag, just for a little whimsy and a little movement and stuff. So let me show you how I did the tag. It's all like, you know how we get like involved and then it just evolves into all kinds of things. For the little tag, which is this little tag right here, and I'm going to use the same little stamp. It's a little tag and I, I just like, I love tags, all kinds of tags. So. Um, what I did for it is that I used this punch. I've had this punch forever. I don't remember. Frisca. I've had it forever and I like it. And I like this punch. It's just the right size of a little tag. So I use, again, my file folders from, you can use cereal boxes. You can use pretty much anything you want. So what I do sometimes when I, my husband were watching a movie or something, <laughs> My husband, he's such a nice guy. He, nothing bothers him. I can make noise. So I just sit there and just, you know, punch all the little tags that I want to punch. And then for the little hole in the top, I have this tiny, tiny um, little hole puncher, but it's real tiny. So what I did is that my hole, I punched it with this. See, now I got my little hole. So, and then I use just a plain little piece of string um, through it. So, and I had made some. Let me see if I can find them. I'll be right back. Okay, yes, I found them. See, I made some and I just threaded a little. I had like this real tiny, um, just a little, anything. You can do a little piece of lace, whatever you like. So, these are the little tags that I'm going to be using. And then I wanted to punch, I wanted to stamp something, okay. Um, let me just scrunch the edges up a little bit. So I just sit there, watch TV. Actually, I did all these. I did tons of these. 
and just sat there and just um, had him ready for a project or something. I'm going to just do one unless I mess it up and I have to show you. Then I have this set of stamps because I was looking for something small and I kind of like this set of stamp and I really like those numbers a lot. So I think I'm going to use that again. I, I love them. Okay, so here it is. So it's just a little stamp. Make sure that I get it right, you guys. Yep. And I'm just using some distress ink. I think that'll work. And I think I have it. Let me get my ink pad. It's kind of like, ooh. guys, my supplies are like. This is an ink pad, so it's inked. Sorry. It's messy. But this is real life, okay? So, I like that. Oh, yeah, that's the one we're using. I love it. Okay, so let's put this aside. Get rid of this yucky, yucky, very useful stamp. So now I got my, I got my little little tag that I want it not sure on the jewelry yet so you're gonna need your hug glue gun for sure and like I said the ruffle that I'm going to use is this one so this will be my ruffle and this will be like my little edge so you just start basically you just start layering 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 the first layer that I'm going to use is going to be my and I want the word French. My little, my little um, scrappy um, stencil paper. Maybe give it a little tip. I like that. And I'm definitely going to grunge that edge up a little bit. There we go, guys. I've been having so much fun in my garden. I have to be honest. I have. It's like, and I've been neglecting my Etsy store. And it's in so much need of... Um, I'm just using hot glue. My Etsy store is in desperate need of... Rest I need to restock my things. And to be honest, I'm like completely sold out. Really. I have nothing left. I haven't made a journal this whole season because... Oh, I want to thank everyone that purchased from my Pink Shades of Easter um, kit. Thank you so much. I was not expecting that. So I'm very, very, very grateful. So now we start doing the layering. And for some reason, I just, like, I'm in love with this. I love that. So maybe, why not? Why not? I'm gonna just, you just layer. So that's your foundation, and then you just start layering and layering whatever you want. I like that, so I'm gonna layer that. And then the whole object for me in my head was to make it look a little bit like a flower, some kind of a flower. So I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit more of this and have a little bit show off, maybe like that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I like that a lot. So, yes, yes, the response has been, thank you so much. I'm working on new digitals and I know I've been saying this like two videos back, but I finally am almost done with my giveaway putting together my little giveaway stuff and I can't wait to have it all done so see you just go on and you just layer your layer 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 I want I really like this a lot I've used it in a lot of my journals I don't remember where I found it but I think I want to use that as my background and then some of the little petals are gonna like peek through I don't know. I, I know I found this at, at a thrift shop or something. This is not new. This is 
maybe it was a tablecloth or a runner or I don't know something just kind of fray the edges a little bit again guys use as many used things as you can find thrifting junking I mean there's no need to buy I mean it's nice to have new supplies see starting to take shape it's nice to have new supplies but there's no need to really oh I think it's gonna be so cute so that'll be that like that so when you turn it around it'll still be pretty in the back there we go so let's continue layering I found this little piece is kind of nice I'm just gonna cut the little edges off a little bit so basically yeah I like that up here like that just layer 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 here's one piece right here let's put that away what else did I I have this I love this I'm almost out I'm being so stingy I use just I don't know where I think this is this was off some kind of a I think this was off some kind of a blouse or something I'm thinking you know what maybe I'll cut it in half I'll put a little piece up here when you want to be like a little I don't want to say stingy but when you have something that you really like and you're going to use it in a circle you can cut it in half you know you can just cut it in half see how this is like so relaxing it's almost like I found this why not I'm gonna be covering a lot of these things up anyway well like that like that so I have a little bit of gold just not much but a little bit of gold what else can we use oh I like that so I'm going for like a beige and white I'm going for like like an off white what else I'm gonna grab from my tray of goodness maybe this little piece right here maybe I'll round it off a little more in half well I'll use that at the end I like that a lot what else do I have that I could use oh, I like this one a nice little beige one maybe I'll round the edges off so it's kind of like putting a little puzzle together except it's not a puzzle it's like whatever you want to use it so you would probably leave like your favorite little snippet little things for the edge uh, what else do we have I like that too much too not lacy enough I like this one let's see Let's see, let me clean up as I go. Maybe here. So that's all you do. You just layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. And just layer as much as you want. Like that. So I saw a little dark one. That. I'm going to cut this little... This is tattering. It's almost like a shame to cut it, but I think I want it right there. So it's just like really relaxing. Maybe I'll, like I said, remember we can cut things in half. So I'll put this little piece here and then this little piece here maybe. Oh. Yeah. I love that. 
Why not? That would be pretty, I think. But I think I want to use a little piece of this somehow. Somehow, like a little bit ruffly like, but it's not ruffly. Just kind of twist it, make it, you know, for a little bit more like three dimensional, like a little bit more of a pop. I like that. Just a little bit of a pop. Let's see. What's we'll that in half? So for the little, for this little three-dimensional, I don't want to call it a little, like a little gathering. You can use something sheer would be nice, or lacy, or whatever you like. I'm only using these because it's what I have. And I think I'm going to put this like in a little diamond shape. Right here. In a little diamond shape. Oh, I love this one. I love that. This, oh, this is real old. I don't want to cut too much of it. Oh, maybe like that. Or maybe just... Or maybe just like that. So I can just show a little bit of it. Again, just going to put a little piece up here. I just want to show just a little edge because this is going to cover most of it. So all you're doing is just layering and layering. So it's kind of like a little bit mindless. And that'll be my center. How's that? And now it's starting to look like something. Maybe. Yeah, why not? So it's starting to look like something. Yeah, I like it a lot. So that'll be that. And that'll be a nice center. I think that already looks really nice, I think. I think it does. It does, does, does. Let me see. You know how we just can't leave it alone? We just can't leave it alone. No, we're going to leave it alone. That'll work. So now to make my little dangle. What I used for my dangle was this little pen, which I got a pen. I just use one of these. I think I'm gonna use this color. So this is the fun part too because now you just get to layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. Okay, I know I want to use this one because I love this tattering thingy. I love that. And I think this was also found um, junking around. So see now I'm going to try to add the different layers of like, I don't know, the whites and the creams and everything else. So this will be nice too. Another little layer. So I'm going to just start gathering my little layers here. Uh, what else? I like this one. Do I like this one? I thought I had... Yeah. This one. So you're making like a little dangle. So you just pick all the stuff that you have. That is going to be that. Oh, I like 
this one too. And then this ruffly one, maybe I'll make this one a long one. So that'll be in the back, a long one like that. In the back, and I had a little piece, oh, this one's pretty tall. How's that? Oh my god, you can add whatever you want. I think I'm going to put that back here. Like that. And I... Just a plain little piece of... Um, sorry, silk, just for a little bit of plainness. And maybe I'll dangle that, which I kind of wanted to use. That would be nice. But I think I need something a little bit bigger than that before. What if I dangle one of these again that, that I used? Yeah, why not? I can dangle one and then this one on top. How's that? Is that too much? I wanted a little something gold. Oh, let me see. This is, see how this, there was something there before. I'm not sure what it was, but. I can use, I don't want to break, I don't want to. That that'll be so it's not so I'm not repeating the same pattern. <gasps> yes, some eyelash trim. What else did I have? A couple of eyelash trims that I like. I think I'm gonna use these in the back. This will be the last ones that I use because they'll be in the back. Do I stop? Guys, do we stop? No, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna use that. And I think that that'll work. I could use this. No, 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 that, that we'll stop with that. Okay, so now to make my little dangle. I know that I want to use where's that necklace from Ella? Because I know I saw something I liked here and I thought I I saw this. This little necklace, I think I might, this might be like too much competing with the little sparkles. I think I'm going to use, this is just a necklace, an earring. This is a junky earring again that I found just kind of junking around. So I'm going to remove the little hook thing. Yeah, see that's just enough I think. Okay, so, and then my little tag, my little tag, which I think I'm going to make a little loop here, so I can have a little knot at the end, and of course, because I'm filming, it's not going to be easy. There, there it is. See? And then this somewhere dangling. Okay, so the trick to this, because I did quite a few of them, is that whatever you want to show more has to be threaded in first through here. Okay, so I know for a fact that this goes first, right? Then this pretty one, like that. Now first, see, I did it wrong already. First is going to be my dangle. And then I think I'm going to do my little tag. See, so far, so far I like. And then you just start putting your little pieces, any piece that you like. But for me, what it helped me if sometimes I have to lay things out and kind of look at them and that kind of, uh, you know, helps me a little bit. So we said we're going to do gold. A little bit of gold here. Yeah. And then I like these little looking, they look like little leaves, but I don't know if they are. So you just start layering your goodies. 
Okay, and I hope my pen is big enough because I have so much going on here. Oh, I think I'm going to use the sari. And then a longer, a shorter piece. And then a longer piece. There we go. And then this pretty white one that looks like it's tattered. Look how pretty that's turning out. Then this little ruffly one. I just like that one. I'm doing them like, you know, shorter to longer, but you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. But see, these little dangle things, this is something you can even do while you watch TV or something. So I think I like... I think I'm going to just tie this um, because, yeah, the eyelash trim is not going to, it's not going to stay. So I'll just tie it, make like a little knot. Maybe I'll do both of them at the same time. Why not? go. God, I really want to use the eyelash trim. I really, really like it. Like that. And then that goes in the back. Oh, I left this little guy. I'll put him. I'll put him in the back because you never know. He might show up. See, and then this is what you attach to your little rosette thing here that we did. And it's so fat and chunky that it's a little hard to get, but I'm getting it. There we go. There we go. See? There it is. And you can see a little bit of the gold up here and a little bit of the gold here. And then all the different layers and a little bit of the sparkling of the sparkle of the gold in the back and all the different layers. So let me just show you up close so you can take a look. So you can even go back, which I did, and add more little layers if you want in there to make it like real more dimensional. And then I like using this in the back because this will make a nice little gift. So there you are. Ruffle edgers is what I'm calling this. And this will look really nice on a cover too. So yep guys, these are it. And I'm all done. And I'm glad you came by. And I'm glad you spent a little time with me. And you, I hope that you make your own little ruffle edgers. And if you do, please do. And if you do, please tag me. Let me know and tag me on Instagram. And I will be more than happy to show your little creation up on my Instagram story so that we can inspire other people. And maybe mix colors. You can do a variation of colors. I don't know. I would love to see what your ruffle edges will turn out to be. Okay, guys, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I so needed this time with you guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.